Right, welcome back to another episode of Testing the Tips and trust me, this is a real good one that we've got coming up very shortly. A little nugget of information that quite honestly, I rabbit on about quite a lot in my own videos. But this week, I'm again going to look at a tip from Alex Elliott Golf, where he looks at how we're going to improve our driver. Never look back once you've got this little bit of uh, information logged in your brain is, is how he describes the glue that holds it all together. So as the title suggests, we're gonna go from amateur to pro ball striking in just five minutes. And how are we gonna do that? And what are we gonna concentrate? Well, probably all the things that you would not perhaps expect. Because let's be honest, we concentrate on our grip. We talk about rotation, our hands at the top of uh, the backswing, how we drive through on the inside, what happens through impact, all those different things. But how often do we actually concentrate on the tempo of our golf swing? But the question is, tempo is one thing, really, what does it mean? And perhaps more importantly, how the heck do we practice tempo? What kind of drill can we bring into the game to our practice routine that helps out with tempo? And ultimately, what does that do and how is it going to make us a better player? Well, the key elements and the most uh, interesting bit for me is it will probably help you find the center of that club face just a little bit often. And it means we perhaps have to slow down a little bit. And here is how Alex explains we should consider doing that. So there are in fact three different methods we're going to use to improve our tempo but just a note on why tempo is good well you all we've all done the kind of erratic swinging and quite often the worse we start to play the game the wilder we get in terms of our swing and how often does your game actually get better or get a little bit more wild and ultimately like i said controlling that club face club club face is key and becoming a more efficient ball striker now interesting enough this first tip from Alex comes from Nick Faldo so it's gone from Nick Faldo to Alex Elliott to the average golfer all the way down the food chain and he basically talks about splitting the club uh, the swing rather up into three parts the first one being to uh, hip height waist height if you like in your backswing that is uh, that is one two is then where we go into the top of our backswing and then three is that follow through and down and it's a real counting exercise if you like in tempo and it becomes one two three so what we're looking to do is one to the top so okay one two three and hopefully what you'll see is a nice smooth rhythm in terms of my swing one two three now, as we all know, the likelihood is what we do on a golf is one, two, three, and we're gone. And we're chasing after the ball. The ball has gone nowhere and we've lost complete control. So let's see if we can adopt that first idea and concept. Count to three and see if we can get that ball down the middle of the fairway. Oh. A little bit out to the right in terms of the shot itself. I don't know that's down to alignment again. Ooh. Oh, we've actually come out all right with a nice bounce. If I was playing a medal, that would have bounced into the bunker. The interesting thing is for me as well, I'm also adopting another tip that we took from Alex's videos. And uh, make sure you check out that one about where I position the driver in my stance. The driver head, that is. <clears throat> I've got to admit, I want to say something about this one. This kind of counting one, two, three slightly throws me out. So I have to do it very much silent in my head. You want to start to do that in the middle of a golf course anyway. But it's kind of a little bit, um, yeah, complicated in many ways. And I think there's other tips within these three that are a little bit more successful for me on a personal level because hitting a golf ball and counting my head at the same time was proven to be a little bit too difficult so that one leaked out a little bit to the right but more than happy with i think we found the club face in terms of the center of that club face and it went down there but the second one and perhaps my favorite really is another tip from nick faldo and uh, i like this because what we're essentially looking to do is we're changing our mindset if you were asked to try and hit your driver just 150 yards down the middle of the fairway, what would happen? Well, the first thing you would do is you would literally take, I don't know, maybe 60% out of your swing in terms of speed. Now, if I told you to do that and try and hit the ball down the middle, which is what I'm going to do now, I'm going to attempt to hit this almost as short as I possibly can. So just 150 yards is all I'm trying to do in my head. 
Today's video is brought to you in association with channel travel partner Glencore Golf and this week they've sent me out onto the Algarve in Portugal where I will be playing three different golf courses Quinta da Val, Quinta da Ria and Quinta da Cima and I'll be staying in nearby Tavera at the AP Cabanas Resort. The hotel is a modern design with stunning rooms and balcony views to match and this resort has an all-inclusive option Pour yourself a beer, a glass of wine, and take the hassle out of golf trip planning. The nearby town of Tavira is just minutes away. Today's video is shot at Quinta de Val, which is quite simply a beautiful golf course in superb condition and a clubhouse perfect for post round drinks with a view. So if you want more information about this golf trip itself or any other that you might be considering planning right now, then please head over to glencoregolf.com for some more booking information. Then the first thing it does is it slows my tempo way down. So I'm thinking, that's all I need and if I do that, I'm going 150. Now what happens when I do it? Do I go 150? No, I don't. You go more like, I don't know what that's, well, it's still carrying in the air. It's probably finished very similar to that other balls. Again, leaked out a little bit to the right hand side and whether that's my alignment or not, I don't know. But what you can see is the quality of strike is really there. It's dead easy. I'd like to watch that back uh, myself and just see how slow that swing is. But it's literally, I'm trying to hit 150. I couldn't hit 150 if I tried. And all I'm doing is letting the club head do the work and letting the swing gather momentum through the pace and almost naturally and subconsciously you will swing a little bit quicker than you expect to because you know you've got driver in hand you know you've got a long lever in terms of the length of shafts so naturally it will start to gather in terms of natural club head speed but what we're gaining is ball speed because hopefully we're finding the middle of the club face right that's two down we've got one to go and this one is very very simple but possibly also very very effective Right, third ball on the tee. By the way, I'm at Quinta de Val in, uh, on the Algarve in Portugal. I'm here with uh, Glencore Golf. What a stunning location this is. This is a 10th tee, and uh, I've got plenty of videos that I've recorded from here, and this place has been absolutely stunning. Right, I'm gonna try and set up a little bit more towards the bridge on this one, because I'm definitely set up a little bit down the right. What is it though, and Well, dead easy. What you've gotta do, is swing that club as hard as you fast as fast as you can in your first practice swing okay so you walk to the ball you literally give it all you can so in a one to ten that's a ten out of ten that's as fast as i'm going to do it without pulling a back muscle the second swing i'm going to do before i hit the ball is the slowest i can do in terms of one out of ten okay so i've gone from the fastest i can do and then i go all the way back down and i go to the slowest and then somewhere in between all of that, my driver swing does this. Oh my word, what a way to finish, and What a way to finish. I said I like, I said I like number two, but I think I like number three, because that just worked for me so, so good. Really smooth, really balanced in the swing. No uh, kind of over movement, no jerky movements. That was so, so good. And, I've got to thank Alex Elliott right now for coming up with some real nuggets, as I keep calling them, of information that have helped me out massively, particularly with driver, but he says this will work throughout the whole bag. And I'll be interested to see how that goes. So if you want to improve your driver play in this case, then improve your tempo, swing it as, um, or just improve your ball striking massively. It's, it's such a good thing to find the middle of the club face. And we all know how sweet that feels, right? As ever, thank you for watching. I'm so pleased with all them three strikes. We're going to carry on recording lots of videos here at Kinsa Deval, like I said. Make sure you tune in and watch. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of these. There'll be at least one tip vid video coming to you every week on a Friday from now on moving forward. Thanks for watching. Give me your feedback. Let me know if you've tried it. And I'll see you all tomorrow night.